Hey everyone, welcome to Market Watch. It is that time to discuss the Digimon trading card game market as everything falls over. Yes, today a lot of cards are happening here. We had our first event and it's all it's all fun and games. So let's get right into it. And if you enjoy this content, please like, comment, subscribe. And turn the notification on Smash Potatoes. That way you know when all these amazing Digimon videos go live. Uh, nothing crazy in the online market here. There's only two of this back. Like once again, this card usually goes between like having a few in stock and like almost none in stock. Yeah, you know, someone bought the 162, so now we got 195. But besides that, there's nothing else going on here. So that's that. Um, you may, some of you might have be happy to know that Mastermon Ace is now the most expensive card in EX6. It overtook the Lottery Agudamon. Lottery Agudamon is way down in price. Way down. That waifu, Mastamon, everyone, that's what everyone loves. So that's that's it. That's how it goes. Yeah. People are buying people are buying this more though at the cheaper prices. Like people are actually buying more Agudamons and Mastamons. So that's really funny. Uh over here we have a true money. So the rest of the lottery cards are just tanking. Like they're all just going down in this set. So that's the typical progression of all the lottery cards, and yeah, they're just going down. So if you want them for your collection, you know, maybe it's getting close to the time to get them. This buyout happened. Um, I do recall talking about this the other day. Uh, yeah. Sell them if you got them. That's what I suggest here. Uh, Miri is down to $43. It just keeps going down, which is good. Uh, we'll see how far it goes down, though. It's nice to see it, though. Making Massimo a little bit more affordable is always nice. Uh, Ragnalord Ace here is down to 10 It seems like the hype kind of cooled off on it a little bit, which is good. Uh, the alternate art is 15 bucks as well, so like, if you really wanted it, I guess. But like, who really wants Ragnalord Mon anyway? I don't know. Uh, this is really interesting. Imperial Drawn Fighter Mode Ace is $500, the lottery card from BT-16. Uh, not with any recent sales, even. It's just... It's just five hundred dollars now, so if you can sell one five hundred dollars, good luck. Uh, but that's probably unreasonable because there are no real confirmed sales for around five hundred dollars, right? So do what you can, try to get what you can for it. If you can even maybe sell it for more, buy it back later. Like, there, there's definitely plays you could do to maybe get some money off of this. Uh, the Dormon Alternate BT sixteen is going up in price. It is now currently at thirty two dollars. Um, I, I, like, I guess it makes sense. Uh, if you, if you, yeah, yeah it, it makes sense. This was in the 20s, and I was like, this card probably going to go up in price soon with all the stuff coming out. And it sure has. And I kept mine. I, ke I don't know where they are right now, but I kept them. I'm like, I have two of these things. I'm going to keep them, and they're going to go up. And sure enough, they did. So that's where we are right now. And uh, you should probably sell them if you got them. Or, if you're feeling lucky, wait. It's actually not that much of a wait. Uh, two, three, four, five, and that's 37 bucks, basically. That's really not that bad, actually. The time to sell is very soon. Or now, if you really wanted to get rid of them that quickly, it's fine. Uh, Valkyrie Mon Ace is now the more expensive super rare in the set, BT16. It has overtaken Paladromon. Uh, and people are buying it. People are going crazy for this card. So, we'll see if this hits loose on Chaos Mode levels. I have no idea if it will or not. Time will tell if people want to clean this up or not. Uh, over here, another expensive super rare coming out of nowhere is the Viamon. We covered this one last week, I believe, at some point. It was on the up, and now it is going up still. We saw a listing here sell for just over $20. Two copies of it. So we are in the era of just $20 supers. This Valkyrie Mon Ace, Pale Dramon's basically up there. Loose Mon Chaos Mode's anywhere from $25 to $30, depending on when you look at it. Like, super rares are becoming expensive. Maybe a discussion video will come soon. But uh, yeah, sell your Lyamons if you got them. The alternate art isn't... It is going up too, as you can kind of see here. Uh, there was some craziness happening, but then more copies were listed by newer sellers. So, uh, yeah, it is being targeted. Once these clean up, I would probably recommend selling your copies of Altar Leviathan if you have them. This is just going crazy. I was, I was talking to people about this this weekend, these two boxes. Like, 
we are now doing the one piece thing this is the one piece thing if you look at one piece booster boxes they're just expensive because people just buy them all there's no more and then that's it um if my my stance stands if you can find them for retail you buy them for retail and hell you'll be able to flip them if um not i would probably stay away from them i'm gonna be real although ex06 is really in the hot seat because you can do really well in that set like have you looked at ex06 first of all it's three alt tarts in a box and some of these alt tarts right now are going crazy bananas but you might get lucky you might pull a super rare lucimon chaos mode or you might pull a, a freaking mastermon diaboramon ragnalord mon lilith mon Trubimon. those are all good you also could get fucked you could pull altart ultimate chaos mon shackomon leviamon you definitely could get hosed it is a gamble it's this set is very gamble heavy you could also get the bonus secret rare the miri or the gudamon 30 or 43 bucks added extra is not too bad there are no box toppers that are worth it so it is a gamble if you really want to go in on the boxes i wouldn't for this price that's just my take uh and this is obviously the same thing but we covered this already so we know uh other cards real quick rare mon sell them while you sell them while you get the most value out of them there's no reason to hold on this card anymore just get rid of it asap uh Alternate Patamon is back up in price again because yellow is really good and uh, 42 bucks ain't that bad. You know, there's a chance it goes to 50. I, I, I believe 45 is a lot more reliable, like 45 ish is a lot more reliable than 50, but it could go up there. It could definitely rise. So uh, we're getting time, we're approaching the time to sell them if you want to. Uh, Zubamon, yeah, they keep going, they keep sparking up a little bit, which is nice. Uh, but seriously, just get rid of them when you can as well. Just do it up, get rid of them, get your money back. Or er, plus, technically. Ludomon. Ludomon is up. A common from BT1. <laughs> uh, so, or I guess this is the 1.5. But uh, yeah, so if you have your bulk from this set, go through it, sell some. Just go for it. This is, you need this card. Oh, yeah, I guess you don't need this card. But, like, you, you should have this card. It helps you in Ragnarok Online, I guess. I guess. A quartz one's under $10. It's a beautiful thing. You should grab some. And finally, uh, these cards. The the beginner's set adventure promos are expensive. Uh, it's worth selling. You'll make money, absolutely. That's it for today, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I will see you later. Bye.